Welcome to our lecture online. The next method we're going to look at to help us solve quadratic equations is called the square root method. Typically it's used when the equation looks something like this or when it looks something like this. You simply take the square root of both sides. So in general, let's say we have x squared equals a and now we're going to only look at the case where a is greater than zero so we have real solutions. We take the square root of both sides of course, on the right side, we have to have a plus and a minus because it could be the positive or the negative square root of the right side. And so we then end up with the square root of x being x equals plus or minus the square root of the number on the right side, which simply means that x equals the square root of a or x equals the negative square root of a. Both solutions will satisfy that quadratic equation. As an example, let's do the Example here, x squared equals 25, which means we take the square root of both sides. That means the square root of x squared equals the square root of 25. But notice we're going to take the plus or negative of that. So that means that x equals the plus or minus square root of 25, which is equal to 5, which means that x equals positive 5 or x equals negative 5, which are the two real solutions to that quadratic equation. If we have something that looks like this, you can again use what we call the square root method. We take the square root of both sides. We take the plus and minus of the square root of the right side. Notice that we end up with x minus h on the left. Move h to the right side. And so as a final solution, we have x equals h plus the square root of a or x equals h minus the square root of a. As an example, we have this example right here. We're going to take the square root of both sides. That means x minus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of 25. Of course, square root of 25 is 5, so we have x minus 1 equals plus or minus 5, which means that x equals 1 plus 5, or x equals 1 minus 5. I move the negative 1 to the right side, it becomes a plus 1, and I either take the plus or minus 5. So that means that x equals 6, or x equals negative 4, and I forgot my negative here, negative 4. Those are the two real solutions to that particular quadratic equation. So notice, using the square root method we can use in these two cases is a very quick and easy method to find the solution to our quadratic equation. And that is how it's done.